Hi, my name is Sun, and in this video we will take a look at views. Spine's user interface uses a tap view system to organize its tools, and this gives you the flexibility to customize the workspace to your liking. Views are opened by clicking the Views select box at the top right of the screen. Views that are already open are shown in light grey, and different views are available in setup mode and animate mode. Each view has a tab at the top and the tab can be dragged to move it to a new position and an orange rectangle will appear where the tab can be dropped. A tab can also be dropped next to other tabs. Views can be resized by dragging the edge of the view. A view can be minimized by left clicking the menu icon to the right of the tab and then choosing minimize. We can also minimize the view by right clicking the menu icon. Minimized views appear as icons next to the view select box and clicking an icon restores the view to its previous position. All views can be minimized by clicking the minimize button next to the view select box and if we click it a second time will restore all the views that were previously minimized. A view can be closed by left-clicking the menu icon to the right of the tab, then choose Close. Also, a view can be closed by double-clicking the menu icon. Closed views will be hidden until they are open again using the View Select box. Spine currently does not support detaching a view as its own floating window, but the spine window can be unmaximized and then stretched to span multiple monitors. When using multiple monitors, the editor area toolbar may not be in the ideal position, so we can move it by clicking the small lock icon to the left of the toolbar and then dragging it left or right. Another issue with multiple monitors can be that dialogs open in the wrong position. So to fix this, any dialog can be moved to the desired position and all subsequent dialogs will open at that position. If the spine window is resized, the dialog position is reset. I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you again for the next video. Bye for now.